Everybody, it's Invictus. Time for another Eden Run here, the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Friday, Mosh Pit. We all did it. You all did it. We got another video over 3,000 likes, which now puts us at 166 over 180 already now. Just two weeks away worth of a like streak goal. We get to see that first Rebirth reaction video, and I get to do it because, honestly, I haven't seen that episode in I don't know how long, and I'm very, very interested and curious to see what happens in it. So thank you very much for making it possible. Hope you had a great start to your brand new weekend here in the mosh pit and speaking of great we have ourselves a great artwork of the day submitted in by just jacko man title of the thread was pixel art question mark and it's actually a video um i'm doing a browser capture right now which of course you can't tell because it just looks like a gif but it is an actual video and it looks really really awesome it reminds me of those old school like dungeon crawler games like those like turn-based games. I can't think of one off the top of my head, but I really love it, especially the detail in the fire. Like, seriously, you need to see this for the full resolution. Go check it out on this Invictus subreddit. And uh, Just Jacko Man also posted, that, uh, hey there, it's been a long time since I made my previous thing for Sin. Here, I wanted to switch it up and do a little pixel gif for him. Kind of rough, but I like it. I really, really dig this. And again, I am just astounded at how talented we have. We have so many talented artists in the mosh pit. It's just beautiful. Thank you very much, Just Jacko Man. And everyone who upvoted all that one okay well then cj is going to be delta sierra delta x-ray uh, charlie echo quebec echo we've got ourselves binge eater oh baby a binge eater start and also shoop to whoop yeah count me the heck in also i feel like i'm peaking a little bit um did my microphone settings get did they get did, did my microphone settings get all wonky on me hang on a second now hang on we're doing we're just doing it live Yep, some, something reset my mic settings here. Uh, coming, in, coming in a little hot. There we go. There we go. Sorry about that. Uh, I don't know. I, I have not run any updates or anything, so uh, yeah. Anyway. Wow, Binge Eater and uh, Shoop to Whoop is going to be quite interesting. Now, there are going to be... Well, I mean, we know where we're going to start. Uh, there are going to be a lot of people who instantly just don't like this video because of Binge Eater, and, uh, you know, that's fine. You know, I think that everyone has a, has a right to have an opinion in Isaac, whether it be right or wrong. I mean, everyone does have the right to have one. However, I do think that Binge Eater does not warrant the hate that it gets. Um, and, and to be clear, people don't hate the item because it's bad. People just, they dislike the item just because it, it is the only item that you need for any run. <laughs> so what Binge Eater does, if you don't know, Binge Eater will replace your uh, item pedestals either with a, it's, a, it's going to be a guaranteed HP upgrade and a guaranteed almost full heal. Now, the reason why this is significant is because it also buffs Isaac's damage, but also permanently lowers his movement speed unless you get movement speed up. So the real complaint about Binge Eater is essentially just because, like, you don't need to pick up any items. It makes it for a very samey, boring run. There are some people in the mosh pit who don't like it. And, again, I get it. Like, I, I totally get why people don't like the item. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to take it, y'all. It's freaking Binge Eater. It is a S-tier item. One of the top items in the entire game, period, point blank. Um, you know, and it's weird that an item that is so good and give stats instead of like changing the way that Isaac attacks like that's the thing is that you can still have attacks and like tier effects and all that stuff with binge eater wow I'm surprised and shocked that the secret room's not there um you can still have like all those crazy attacks and stuff and tier effects like un basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to equate the I'm trying to equate binge eater hate to um mom's knife or brimstone hate you know like those i can understand more of just because like it does kind of dull down the experience of watching isaac and just basically because it, you know it, it replaces most if not all tier effects although there are some synergies that it is nuanced and i didn't actually mean to take that but binge eater um yeah so with binge eater like you still get like really 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 good stats but you can also you can also preserve those you, you can preserve those tier effects and stuff so you know i whether or not i'm part of the problem that some people have with binge eater i don't know i mean who who really knows at the end of the day um secret room is no secret room can't be there i, I, I have secret room might it might be there but i don't know man i don't know So like I I get it 
I really do get it. But don't blame me. <laughs> don't blame me for just because an item is just amazing. I'm going to purposely take damage here just to charge up a uh, shoop to whoop. I mean, we're getting so many good quality stat ups here from Benji. We can also play the sack room, which again, I'm going to, I'm just going to say it for the record. We wouldn't be able to play the sack room without having binge eater. So, you know, it, it opens up so many possibilities. And on top of that, it just gives you so much HP, so much damage, so many tears up. I mean, it, like it just doesn't stop with binge eater. It just straight up does not stop. In fact, we did an entire episode based on just the fact that you can take binge eater. That was actually a mistake. I shouldn't have taken that until after I played the sack, the sack room. I'm just, I'm just too excited to see binge eater. Um, we did an entire episode of Wacky Wednesday of just Binge Eater and only Binge Eater, and we absolutely destroyed the game. Like, our stats were, they weren't incredible by the end. I mean, they were good. Don't get me wrong. They were good, especially for this being a one-run, one-item run. But the thing that makes Binge Eater truly strong, and this is something that I think it, it slips by a lot of people, the thing that makes Binge Eater truly, truly strong and terrifying is the fact it gives you a full freaking heal, like a full heal. Whenever you take, whenever you you take a, a binge rider, right? it's it's not a full heal; it's an almost full heal, right? So as long as you have an item pedestal, you are a practically unkillable, and that's what makes binge eater truly terrifying in terms of power. Um, we can use the reverse hermit card. Might as well. Might as well get some get some moolah here. Might as well get some of that moolah here. I'll go pick up some HP here. But, like, yeah, seriously, like, that is that is one aspect of Binge Eater that I think a lot of people don't think about or even register in their minds is the fact that it gives you the full heal. And, uh, you know, and, and because, like, item pedestals are so easy to find, like, it, it just makes sense that you would... It, it would just make... It just makes sense, like, why not give yourself, like, just more HP, you know? Um... I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do something crazy. I'm gonna do something crazy to prove a point here. And I think that you already know where I'm going with this. Hey, wow. We actually got straight to 999 again. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. My God, what is he doing? Victor, you've truly lost your gourd. <laughs> I, I mean, to prove a point, I think that we have to, we have to do this. <laughs> like, it's like binge eater is just, it is just so good. It's the only items you really need. Now, obviously it's not the only item that we've gotten on this run, but Binge Eater is just that strong. And I realize that I'm not making a great case here as far as like, you know, well, yeah, Binge Eater like totally is just a homogenizing item and that's it. Like a not run ruiner, but you know what I mean. But I think that this also sort of kind of is a ultimate, like ultimate showcase of just how strong Binge Eater is. If, if we beat Lamb, I mean, this might be like an absolutely just disastrous like idea here but again the only thing that we need is basically just one chest and we don't have to worry about hp for the rest of this floor and our health is so our health is so high and our damage our dps is good enough that we can win with this and i'm gonna prove it <laughs> thereby making one of the shortest episodes of isaac i think we've ever had if not the shortest can we get us can we get a sub 10 minute episode Probably not, actually. It's it's already 9 minutes and 29 seconds. So we have we are now officially completely out of the binge eater buff. And I mean we've We we have max tiers. We have max tiers, we have decent movement speed, not great movement speed. Our damage is is good. I mean 8.27, I ain't gonna complain about that. Our range is ridiculous. Those are shot speed. And given the fact that we have Nun's Habit with coupled with Shoop to Whoop, like we're just done, dude. <laughs> like we are, we are a hundred percent done. Let me get to the question of the episode. We're gonna save that real quick. 
Question of the episode from last week before we get any more dunner on this on this episode here. Uh, last week, of course, was the no, 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 no episode where we essentially got missing no and also Damocles. And uh, the question of the episode was simply, what is your take on missing no? And surprisingly, we didn't have a whole lot of responses to this one. I don't know if it was because it was one of those episodes where the question was like super delayed. Uh, but we did have a couple of uploads. We actually or uh, upvoted comments. We did not have uh, more than we, we didn't have more than two comments. I had more than 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 one vote. <laughs> so I'm only going to read the two of them. Uh, but the most upvoted comment came in from Dave Ski 2482 who said, hate it. It has killed me on many occasions. And yeah, I'm right there with you, Dave. I hear you on that. Um, missing no is one of the most dangerous and, and, you know, scary items out there that is just not good. Like it's, it's a garbage item, <laughs> just straight up garbage item. Uh, and then the second most upvoted comment, the only other up most upvoted comment came in, uh, from, uh, CZH. 2432, uh, who simply just said, I took Missing No on Tainted Eden and I didn't reroll when I got hit. So basically, I rerolled everything anyway. Even if I never got hit, ladies and gentlemen, I give you Tainted Tainted Eden. <laughs> tainted Eden squared, I think, is the best is the best description of that. Uh, we can we can probably just face tank this. In fact, it's it's it works in our interest to take to take damage here, so we can get shoop to whoop with the missing no or missing no with the with the uh binge eater buff while we still have it yeah, and i'm not i am not worried about this at all there we go i mean what more what more do you want to see binge eater <laughs> the out of three items <laughs> that we had uh, thank you for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, click the like button. If you didn't, click the dislike button. Uh, for your question of the episode here, what is your take on Binge Eater? Post them in the comments down below. And, uh, yeah, I hope you all have a great start to your Friday. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. And as always, I will see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this episode. I'd like to thank the pages of mine like Taz Bryant, Nicholas Fernald, and Ode Ode. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find over at patreon.com slash Invicta.